Hello, thank you so much for joining me. Today I am going to be showing you five stretches that I think that everyone should practice daily. Let's begin. The first stretch I will be showing you is the wide-legged child's pose. So you're going to want to get nice and comfortable on the mat and then bring your legs further out um, than your hips and just melt your chest down towards the floor. Most people know this pose already, but if not, it's a really gentle, loving one. <laughs> it's one of my favorites. You should feel a really nice stretch in your hips and in your back. This is one of my favorite poses to do first thing in the morning when I lay on my mat. Beautiful. The second pose is a downward dog. Maybe you're watching this routine in real time following along with me, which I like the thought of. <laughs> you're down with Doug, you're just making a nice little mountain shape with your legs in your hands and you can pedal out your feet and feel the nice stretch in your calves, your ankles, your hamstrings, your shoulders. Now you should be looking at your navel, looking in the direction of your belly button. It is totally fine if your knees are bent. In fact, I think it feels even better when you micro bend the knees. The next stretch is a lunge. These are all fairly simple poses, but certainly can be forgotten about. And before you know it, it's been one day, two days, three days, and you haven't done your stretches. So I was always taught to have the foot in line with your knee, but there's a lot of new information coming out where people are recognizing that it may not be as safe, um, well, the safer option. It's probably just a neutral stance. Um, so yeah, you can keep your hands on your knees or you can arch back. Just remembering to do this stretch on both sides so you are nice and even in those hips. So this pose shouldn't be painful. So if that back knee is um, holding a little bit too much pressure on it, then you could get a pillow and put that on your knee, underneath your knee. Or if you just have like an old shirt or jumper, that would probably work as a nice little layer of protection. But yeah, just feeling into your hips and breathing as naturally as possible in these poses. <laughs> now the next stretch is a spinal wave slash cat cow pose so you're going to want to jump onto your hands and knees then inhale looking up towards the sky arching your back and as you exhale looking towards the floor or the navel and rounding the spine now I like to have a bit of fun, a bit of fun in this position and just melt around and get really fluid and just feel how my spine feels with every movement. It doesn't have to be um, copied exactly the way that I do it as well.
And the final pose is a shoulder stretch. It's a bit difficult to speak because it gets a little bit tangled, but you're going to want to lie your chest flat on the ground. And then I reached my right arm out to the side. And then brought my left knee up and did a slight rotation. Slight rotation of the hips. Yeah, that's right. <laughs> You should feel it in your shoulders, in your chest, in your pecs. Just making sure to repeat on the other side. So coming back to centre, then bringing out the other hand and twisting over. You can support your body with your shoulder. Sorry, you can support your body with your second hand up like how I've demonstrated it. <laughs> mm, you should feel it if you don't feel the stretch then you might need to swap your arms or your legs and that is it my five favorite stretches that i think everyone should be doing every day thank you so much for joining me and for more stretching routines be sure to subscribe to my channel